Again, I'm scanning the top of the table, finding the edges, which is always a good thing to do. And the good thing here is all we have to do is move our head, and when we have everything centered with the center of our hearing, when both ears hear it equal, we know we're looking directly at it as the center of the soundscape hits it. So now I have that done, and I'm looking for I'm looking at something here now that's down, low. Now I'm looking straight at it. Okay, now there is a round and then it is a bar going up like this and it looks a lot like it might be a knife. Okay, now it's going exactly up like that, yes. And I notice if I put my hand in front of it, it blocks it, and it makes that particular sound where each finger goes woo 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 up like that. So now if I reach out, I will find exactly that, and it was pointing up like that, which is interesting. And I can hear that this is, if I put it like this now, It's interesting, it makes a noise where this fork is now. If I hold it like this, it doesn't, and like this, it does. So if you, uh, for instance, do it as a surprise to me, I will know exactly where the tines of the fork are and where they aren't. But I do have to hold it about here. At, the, at a distance like this, it's not so predominant anymore. So that kind of tells you how the acuity is, to look at the tines of the fork I have to put it about this far away from my camera and it starts to become audible. Okay.